Hello guys, today we have Grimoire Red Beret for review. This is a 1 to 144 HGBD from the Build Diver series. As you know, it's piloted by Rommel the Viso. The box artwork is pretty neat, which is cool, and the side of course it shows displays of the uh, how it can be posed and the accessories for the Build Diver series. One of the things that I like about this kit is actually the matte army green color. It stands out so well and so beautiful. So over here is just a quick run through of how the kit is being built. And this is how a straight build kit looks like. I've not done any panel lining or painting on it. Let's talk about the kit's articulation. For Grimoire, the chest part is quite restricted. It's just only simple turning and twisting of the chest area. For the torso part, you can see the hips can only bend to this uh, extent and the knee bend is up to about 90 degrees. Uh, here comes the part where actually I don't really like because um, the arms bend is only uh, yeah, about 90 degrees and you cannot bend any further down from that. However, they do allow you to move the hands like that, so when you're actually holding a knife, it looks nice. As for the head, there's not much of movement, so you can't look up on the left and right. What I'm surprised is actually the hips part, you can actually do a split on the legs like that. So when it comes to the leg part, it's different from the previous version. This one, uh, as in a TV series you've seen, it can be used as um, a claw or a switch blade to fight the enemy. And because of the hips, um, the legs are actually able to move uh, more flexible using the claw and it can be posed in different direction. I like the function of this where they allow you to hide the dagger uh, behind the skirt so whenever you don't want to use it, you can actually put it back inside that. So it's... The kit also comes with some extra parts and this is one of it, the red padding so you can actually match it up with the left and right so it looks balanced. As for the backpack, this is where the mini Grimoire is hidden. So it fits nicely into the casing itself. And of course, you can see inside this are the, where you can place the daggers in there. The mini Grimoire is very cute, right? But actually, when you look at it, it is a part of the head. You can switch the head anytime with these different colors. There's a green and a blue version. Except Mini Grimoire has this little torso or arms and legs that you can hold the dagger and you know, just a little bit of uh, simple movement. Lastly is the unique gun that Grimoire has in this version. So the gun has three parts. One is the grenade launcher. This is the front part. The back portion is where the surprise comes in. It's actually a mini gun sliding. You can slide it out and you can put it back. So this is the arm grip. Well, of course, the gun comes with the front portion that you can take it off, but it's not necessary. Alright, this is all for the review of the Grimoire Red Beret. So, thank you for watching, and please leave a comment and tell us what you think about this kit.